This week in the Missouri Senate, we review the current version of the fiscal year 2023 state operating budget. Senate committee substitute for House committee substitute. Missouri senators took approximately four and a half hours to go through not only the 13 bills that comprise the fiscal year 2023 state operating budget, but also House Bill 3015, which is the second supplemental budget for the current fiscal year. Senator Dan Hageman of Cosby chairs the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee. $46 million for ARPA for the IDEA Part B for public schools. It has $1.9 million for the foundation formula for the prior year correction. Missouri's current fiscal year will end on June 30th. House Bill 3003. Thank you. During Tuesday's discussion on the floor of the Missouri Senate, Senator Barbara Ann Washington of Kansas City mentions she wants all families to be able to afford college. An in-district student may pay $100 an hour, and the DACA student has to pay $350 an hour. That is definitely limiting their ability to move forward for them to be productive in our community. House Bill 3003 is the higher education budget. That House Committee substitute for House Bill... Senator Hegeman also says House Bill 3002 provides for elementary and secondary education. We fully funded the foundation formula. We did a federal emergency relief. We did a transportation categorical increase in the formula, $215 million. He also says this is the highest increase for school transportation funding since 1991. House Committee Substitute for House Bill 3000 and... House Bill 3010 funds the Missouri Departments of Mental Health and Health and Senior Services, which catches Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur's attention. We are supposed to allow patients accessing funding through our Medicaid program to utilize any willing provider. We're not opposed to the idea, maybe don't love the mechanism. It would only be helpful to one in three Missourians. Along with the budget for the upcoming fiscal year, there is House Bill 3021, which would create a one-time tax credit. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rodden of Columbia says he is still looking at this idea. How you do it, if DOR has the ability to do it in the way that it's been crafted. So we got to talk through all those things. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Kansas City adds the state needs to take care of all financial obligations before anything else. If you're going to do something like that, you should probably put the most vulnerable in regards of people that need the money the most first. In addition, House Bill 3019 is the annual capital improvements budget. The Senate will have budget bills on the floor. Clearly, the House budget came over and left almost $2 billion on the table. Now that the Missouri Senate has its own version of the budget, Missouri Senate President Pro Tem Dave Shost of Sullivan says there will be conference committees with the Missouri House of Representatives, and then the budget will come back through the upper chamber next week. Thank our chair, our vice chair, the members of the Appropriations Committee for all their hard work. I'm looking forward to those bills being brought to the Senate floor. Missouri Senate Assistant Minority Floor Leader Brian Williams of University City adds he wants to see his colleagues build on changes made to the Missouri Senate version of the budget. Our state should be in a position better than it was prior to COVID-19, and we have an opportunity to do that right now with the budget. By law, the legislature has to deliver the budget to the executive branch no later than 6 p.m. on Friday, May 6th. So Monday, May 2nd, 2022. The final two weeks of the second regular session of the 101st General Assembly will start on Monday. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.